Angola has big economic potential, but it's lacking a skilled workforce. Julie Shire reports on how the government is trying to change all that. Luanda, capital of Angola, home to one-third of its population, and most of them can't actually afford to live here. The city's been rated one of the world's most expensive, a result, some say, from the devastating 27 years of civil war that inflicted on the country. Virtually everything is imported. Whatever the reason, the impact is stark. A small bottle of soda here costs more than the average person's daily income. The city sums up the challenges facing Angola. After 12 years of peace, Angola has made significant progress due to its large and increasing oil production. Angola has one of the world's fastest growing economies, and the government predicts that it will grow 8.8% this year. But the government is determined to diversify the economy. That's reflected in ambitious investments in property development, telecoms and farming. China is playing a leading role. It's heavily involved in reconstruction that in years to come will alter the city's skyline through vital infrastructure projects like roads, power and housing. And Angola is important to China. It buys more than 40% of Angola's oil exports, one of its main sources of crude. Still, culture hinges on far broader empowerment and in bringing those who live in shacks outside Luanda into the economy. Julie Shire, CCTV, Luanda, Angola.